Catherine Beerstein here. Just wanted to make a short video to clarify the issue of nulls in SQL Server with Power Apps. Um, I didn't make it completely clear in my last video, so I'm just adding this on. So I made another small table called Test2 here, and as you can see, it just has three fields of uh, our car and our car and a date time and the one can the cat name can be null and so can the bit birthday so let's look and see what that looks like so here we are in power apps and i've got a gallery just showing the table and a form here so if I submit a new row here and I keep this blank and keep that blank because that's the default that just shows up grayed out you see that I can add nulls well what does that look like in SQL Server it does it gives us nulls because they can be null. So when we create one, it will give us the null if we don't put anything into the fields. Okay, what about if we edit this? If I edit this one, go to edit form, I can then add a cat name and a date at any time if I want. Note that you can use these to scroll to other years and months easily. I don't know how many people are aware of that. It's a time saver. Say okay. Submit. And there we go. Okay, so what if I wanted to make something null again? Now I know the cat name can be null. So say I go up here and I say, okay, I'm just erasing that name. And that's what it looked like when I added the new one. Will this be null in SQL Server? Submit it. Well, it looks null here. I mean, it's blank. But in SQL Server, it's just an empty string. It's, it's just blank. It doesn't say null. Okay. And let, But there's a different situation with dates. So if I were to go to the second row and just say, okay, I don't want the birthday and submit, the dots go across, but when you go into SQL Server, I was on the second row there, nothing has changed. So you can't make it blank or null once you have put in a value. The first time you add a row, it, you can put nothing in there and it will record a null. But for dates, when you try to get rid of the date, it won't change it. So maybe the only solution in that situation is to put some date that everyone knows is a false date like this and then you could do something like make this blank out I mean or or you know be invisible when it's that date not really thrilled with that kind of a solution and there's other solutions that people have suggested where they say oh use don't use date field but use you know text just that to record not thrilled with that either so given this, if you're going to be doing a lot of heavy date stuff in SQL Server, I would recommend waiting until Microsoft fixes this. Um, it has been on their radar since last July. There's a lot of blog posts about it, but it has not been uh, fixed yet. Okay, thanks for watching.